What's up everybody? We're here at another day in Orland Park Preserve. Getting ready to come at you with a video. Watch out. Pro Media Gear 34 Series Tripod coming at you. Hey guys, Tony Papa here from Pro Media Gear. Today I'm going to walk you through the 42 and 34 Series carbon fiber tripods. What sets them apart? What are the differences? Stay tuned. As I just said, we've got two series of tripods here. We've got the beefy heavy duty 42 series and the 34. What really sets them both apart, as you can see, is the little bit of size difference. The 42 millimeter series, or 42 series we call it, is uh, the 42 millimeter top leg. The series over here is our 34 millimeter, it's a 34 millimeter top leg. That's how you can tell them apart. The 42 millimeter, think of the girth, it comes up a lot. Like, I don't understand spatially how big it is. My hand laid flat. It's a normal size hand. Laid flat is approximately the width of the apex. The 34 series is more like my fist. Let's break it down. We're gonna go over each unit separately and just kind of talk a little bit about what sets them apart from each other. All right, let's go a little bit more in depth. Discuss the 42 series right here, right? So the 42 series has a machined aluminum apex. The apex is the top here. We've incorporated a couple core features that are really awesome on the 42 series. First off, you might notice, is there's this knob here. So on the top of the apex, we have a drop-in insert on the 42 series. So you're able to loosen this knob. It's a flag knob, trying to show it the best I can on camera here. It's gonna be on a spring, so you can loosen that. Then there's, it makes this a little bit loose, the top part. There's a uh, finger button here that's gonna release the inside cup, the apex cup. This tripod's gonna come standard with a flat cup that can come in and out, and it's also gonna come with a standard 3.8-16 threaded adapter, which is the standard adapter that fits most of your ball heads, gimbals, and other accessories on the market today. What this tripod also gives you is the opportunity to put a 75 millimeter bowl insert inside it. So what I have here is our 75 millimeter bowl insert. This piece right here is gonna get dropped in, if desired ever. Now it's 75 millimeter bowl capable. What that means is that I can purchase another aftermarket or a Pro Media Gear brand 75 millimeter ball and drop it on in there. Now, not to get too in depth on what the ball is gonna do, but in short, it's gonna allow me to go onto my tripod and give me about 12 to 15 degrees of additional leverage to level uh, whatever I put on top of it, either my, uh, it's hard to do this and talk at the same time. Either doing it as a uh, bull head or a gimbal, I'm able to articulate this uh, 75 millimeter bull and find my level. All right, moving forward from that on the 42, that's kind of a little bit different than the 34. Um, it's not gonna be able to come off that easy on 34 and we'll explain that in a second. Next here, this is aircraft grade 6061 aluminum. This is some nice stuff. Real fine grain, great aluminum. And on the apex, we took the time to add these extra holes. Those extra holes are for something like maybe a friction arm or magic arm, you might call it, some of you. There's a 3 8 16 and a quarter 20 hole right here. Sky's the limit. Put some accessories there, use them, lose them, don't use them, do whatever you want. The two little tiny holes here, those are gonna be for the anti-rotation pins that we actually see and see into a lot of our products. So you're gonna see them on the legs and you're also gonna see them here on the apex. Maybe you wanna put a cold shoe on there or some other accessory. Rather than just having a screw that would go in and potentially allow something to rotate, we also sell little anti-rotation pins that go in the back of those things, either a clamp um, or a lot of other accessories, and you put that right on there, it'll keep it from twisting on you. So that's what those little holes are on a lot of our products when you see them. The last thing to talk about is on the leg hub on top right here, you're gonna see a screw right here. You're able to set that, it's a bolt within a bolt, easiest way to explain it. And it's gonna allow you to set the pressure or tension on your leg. So if you like it, when you can fold all three legs and walk with it without it opening on you, or you want to set it so it's not floppy, or maybe you like it floppy, you can loosen or tighten that bolt on all three sides. It's not going to loosen over time. You can just keep on doing it. In, out, in, out, in, out. It's not actually physically moving the screw, accidentally loosening a nut. You're actually physically just loosening the mechanism on the inside, giving you access to a little bit of drag, if you will. The 42, 42 millimeter legs, we've incorporated a push-pull on these leg locks. So rather than digging your fingers in there, chipping a nail, 
we've got a little finger on the back that we'll show you in another clip but there's going to be a little cutout in the back here that allows me then to push it with my finger easier to get that and set your three locking uh, angles here so if i want i can go flatter you can do that on all legs, one leg, whatever you need to fit your scene in your shop. So, put that back to normal. There. This 42 series, we have three models available. We have a 42.3 called a 4.2.3. The 42 is for the millimeter, the three is how many leg sections it has. So a three section tripod is gonna have two leg collars. One section, collar, a section, and a leg. There's gonna be two sections. This tripod right here is a four section. We have a 4.2.4. Now the 424 and the 434, they both open up to the same height, approximately 58 inches. Now the reason for that, like why do you have two of the same? Some of you guys out there are going to like to do two leg locks, it's a little bit quicker. The overall breakdown of the height is going to be a little bit longer on a three section versus a four section. Four section lets me get a little bit more compact. Being a four section, Pro Media Gear, we made this thing super, super rigid. You can see the lateral stability there, the thick legs the nice 10 layer carbon. It's really gonna keep sturdy for you. Even at a four section, you're not losing a lot of uh, vibration. You're not gaining vibration, excuse me, and you're not really losing any stability. Um, it's total personal preference, but the 424 is gonna break down slightly smaller. Now for you guys that are shooting either up in the air, maybe shooting uh, like air shows, possibly some uh, wildlife stuff, birding, we've got a 424L. That 424L is gonna go up to 77 inches. Somebody like myself, blessed by being a little bit short, but when I'm shooting birds, I can then stand at 77 inches with a gimbal. My lens is pointing up in the air. That back of the camera is down here. I'm able to easily get under it and feel like I'm not squatting trying to find my viewfinder all day. Personal preference, the legs are a little bit longer. It's still a four section. It's our most popular one in the 42 series though. And it's gonna get me up to that 77 inches. Uh, with that being said, as we move down a little bit on there, we've got aluminum collars on these tripods, right? So we machine these all in the United States. We make this all here. We've got aluminum rings that lock onto the carbon here. Aluminum collars, deep grooves in these. Gives me enough to even use wet hands or gloved hands. You got enough traction on there. Um, and they also come complete with a stainless steel spike in the bottom of the foot. So a rubber overmold foot at the bottom of the unit here is gonna have a spike built inside. And you're able to take that spike out, quickly show it to you. You're able to go ahead and unscrew that on demand. Take it out of here, flip it over, put it on normal so it spike out, and then go ahead and put that leg right back in. It's that simple and easy. We include those with the tripod, so a nice stainless steel spike. That's the basic breakdown on the 42 series. Stay tuned as I break down the 34 series. Now we're looking at the 34 series, the Pro Stix 34. The 34 number comes from the 34 millimeter top leg. So it's 34 millimeters right here on the top leg. It's 10 layer carbon fiber still. It just starts out a little bit thinner than the 42 series. We still have a machined aluminum apex on the top, but as you can see, the apex is slightly different size. More like the size of my fist compared to the size of my hand on the other one. Now what the top of this apex is slightly different is it doesn't have that push button pop out mechanism. Being a smaller apex, we broke it down into just a nice, tight, still professionally sized apex where we've got six Allen bolts here coming with a flat 3816 top on it. You do have the ability to take off these screws and go ahead and still put on a specified 75 millimeter adapter on this so you can still use the bowl in this. You just have to get the adapter. Uh, we also are now featuring a center column for the 34 series that you can unbolt the six screws and bolt in a center column. Being that it's a little bit smaller, as you can see, some of the features shrunk down, but they're all the same. We've got the push button lock on the back of the legs still. We've got the opportunity to go ahead and uh, tighten or loosen the leg to our specified desired uh, drag. And we also have a bubble level on here that we bolted in. There's also a spirit level or bubble level on the 42 as well, but it's built in more into the apex, as you can see here. On the 34 series, because it's a smaller size apex, we only put the quarter 20 threaded adapter on each quadrant here and we did add the anti-rotation pin still but you do lose the 3816 pin that's on the larger unit we still got the aluminum collars we still got the spike in the foot so the biggest difference is the 34 series is slightly more compact it's much more portable but still professional for the travel photographer 
or the hobbyist that's going to be like carrying this thing in the woods, potentially putting it on a bag or backpack and hiking with it. The 34 series is personal opinion, but this is a lot smaller to go ahead and carry. As you can see, I'll break these down for you, kind of show you the size once I can carry it. Whoops. As you can see, I've got the 42 series and the 34 series both broken down. They look approximately similar lengths, and depending on which model you get, they will be. But as you can see, the girth, the overall size, so you can kind of see the difference here. If you want to carry this one on your back, you want to carry this one on your back. Personal preference, they're both great. They're both super lightweight. You're looking around five and a half, six pounds on the 42 series, four and a half or less on the 34 series. Uh, ultimately on the 34 series, we do give you four models to choose from. We've got 30, a 34 three section short, 34 three section long, a four section and a four section long. The four section long is our most popular. It's 71 inches tall. Still plenty big to do all the uh, sporting, nature photography, aviation personally, um, but it has to be set up for your preferences. But it's a great unit. Um, broken down and only opening at three sections comes up frequently. Like how high is it if I only open up three of the legs on that unit? It gets to about 54 inches. 54 inches, you go ahead and throw a ball head or a gimbal on there, you're pretty much at a nice portrait height. So then you have one whole leg section to go ahead and raise, lower, maybe you're on a hill, a stair, a slope, you know, whatever. It's going to give you that extra height advantage. So the decision is yours. At least now you kind of have a little bit more uh, background in the 42 series and the 34 series. Please feel free to reach out with additional questions. We're always here to answer them for you. Visit ProMediaGear.com or give us a call today.